Hi guys, I'm Dieter Melhorn, and on this trip, we're going out to Tennessee, eastern Tennessee, try to catch some catfish, maybe even some stripers. Who knows? It's a big adventure, so come along. Alright folks, we're packed up in the truck. Uh, we had those showers come through this morning, so we decided to be lazy and lay in the bed and sleep. So, uh, get out here, it's, yeah, it's 10 30, it's the middle of the day. Well, we got a full moon, and back home in North Carolina, the bite has actually been better in the middle of the day. So, uh, we'll see what's going on out here. Uh, we're gonna fish. Uh, I finally made my mind up. I'm gonna fish on Watts Bar. Uh, gonna put in above the clinch, somewhere up in there, and mess around, see what we can find. Supposed to be pulling water continuously out here. It looks like everything's gonna be turning, nothing super fast. So uh, uh, we should, we'll have current. Depends how swift it is. Like I said, I can't, I don't know this area good enough to know that when it says 24,000, 29,000, just how much current that's gonna be, but there'll be something moving. So, uh, and that's always exciting for me to have current to fish in. But anyway, uh, we're gonna give it a shot. It looks like we have some more storms coming through. Um, so we may only get a couple hours on here. Um, hopefully we get hooked into something and find something fairly quickly. So, uh. All right, boys and girls, we are at the boat ramp. Gonna go put them in the water, see if we can catch some fish. My kid's digging dead fish out of the lake already. He hasn't changed since he was a kid. Now, son, that thing was floating dead in the lake. Uh-huh. Do you feel a need to pull it up here? Yep. I wanted to show you. Before it went away. No, no, it was taken. Currently taken. Grayson has his Joe Dirt hairdo going on today like his dad. But right. still. How about let's kick it back into the lake so the... How about we keep it as a trophy? Can we do that? You're precious. Ease him back in. He's dead, but don't ease him back in. Hey, look, he's swimming away. Look at that little cooler water temperatures here. It's about 65. Uh, it's about 72 at the house back in the Carolinas. So a little bit cooler. All right, we're going to make a run out here. Anchor up. See what we can find. Try to get a little pattern, something going on, figure out what these fish are doing. Take a little ride down the lake, see what we got. All right, guys, just uh, got all the baits out and got hooked up. Small fish, but we're putting G-Man to work early. Sorry, it looks like the lens may be fogged up. I'll clean it after this shot. Oh, he is a monster. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. World record right there. We wasted a bait on that. Jeez, come guys, we, come we got the world record. Oh, man. Oh, oh my man. goodness, that's a 2,000 pounder right there. We wasted a perfectly good piece of skipjack on that. All right, guys, give you a quick setup of what we're doing. Uh, we're on Watts Bar Lake. Uh, we're in the probably the upper third of it, I would guess. We're above the Clinch River. Uh, it's got a little bit of current, nothing super fast, enough to put out one anchor though and pull the boat straight. Uh, Grayson is manning the radar over here to make sure that we're safe from inclement weather. And uh, anyway, we got six rods out. Uh, Baits on the bottom. I'm actually fishing some of my Santee rigs up here. Um, just enough current to float these baits up. I've got some skipjacks, frozen skipjacks. Still looks in pretty good shape. It's actually amazingly bloody and it's good looking blood. Sometimes blood in frozen fish gets kind of white. Uh, not white, but light colored. And uh, anyway, we caught that one little dink to begin with. Uh, my gut tells me we can catch a bunch of those if we want to. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna try some of these. We're on a channel edge. It's kind of deep here. We're in probably, what are we? 26 feet of water and I'm casting right over there within casting distance and it's a two count and it's on the bottom. Uh, we actually saw a tree come up and down out of the water over there. So there's a big shallow shoal. So we kind of got, you know, shallow water with some deep water access and uh, you know, let's just see where the fish come from. Play it from there just a little bit like i said this is fun this is not something i'm used to fishing uh, totally different world out here and uh we'll see what happens all right i got one hooked up on g money i think it's another small fish it's a shot 
was popping kind of light there a few minutes ago. Oh yeah. He has caught another world record. How big is he, Grayson? How many pounds? Five million. Right somewhere around there. There you go. Walk on back. There we go. He's tangled. Oh, the line's tangled. Hold on. Back on that. Back on that. There we go. Good job. Tennessee River, watch bar blue. I think this is number four. We've uh, been catching small ones. We're going to stay here about another 10 minutes and make a move. Another dinker. Oh, you don't get your leader back. There you go. All right, walk back and lift it in the boat real quick. There you go. There we go. Look what's coming out of his butt. Oh yeah, he's been eating mussels. Small baiter. We go number four. Number four. Yes. So much dry line. That's bigger than the last one for sure, isn't it? Definitely. There's so much we put out a uh, couple rods of small bait. We're catching some small fish. We figure we catch some eaters. And uh, we just anchored up in this new spot we moved to. And uh, hadn't had a bite, which is a good sign for bigger fish. And then we get this one that folded over with a pretty good bite. Looks like it may be a teener. Looking up weird fish. Oh, I've been thinking of weird fish. Please tell us in the comments below any weird fish besides the goblin shark. You can tell he's on YouTube a lot. Alright, you know the deal. Walk back up. Actually, walk back that way. Wait, which way? Right through there. There you go. That's good. Uh, good. Fish? Alright, guys, there it is. I'm not going to let Grayson hold it. It hasn't let go of my thumb yet. It was hooked in the bottom of the mouth and uh, I got the hook out and I'm waiting for a moment for it to let go of my thumb. So, oh, there we go. Good girl. Let go. Oh, got her out. There we go. Nice little fish. Talking to the camera. Some love. I think he's giving shout outs to his friends. Yeah, he wants to go see his friends. All right, guys, a little change in plans here. We got uh, a storm cell that's blowing up uh, down the lake from us. Um, I say down the lake, it's southwest of here. It's moving this way. It may stay south of us. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. So what we're going to do is we reeled everything in. We're going to get close to the boat ramp. It's a small cell that's blown up, but it's kind of developing. It's getting bigger behind it. I've been watching it on the radar. So uh, we're going to get up next to the boat ramp, uh, look around at a few things, uh, see what the radar does. Probably pull the boat out, get it up on the trailer, sit in the parking lot and ride it out. And, uh, try to... uh, got one small one here. Now Grayson's hooked up on another one. A little bit better. Keep him up there. Keep him up on the edge. All right, guys, a little quick update. Uh, we were talking about making a run back to the boat ramp. We didn't do it. Uh, the storm looked like it was going to stay south of us, and we caught the edge. And we did. We just got a little bit of rain here, which worked out good. I got catfish slime on my face. Sign of victory. But anyway, uh, the big stuff stayed south, so we stayed out. Uh, we anchored up here at some mooring buoys over near some trees. We're going to try this for a little bit. And then maybe try some shallow stuff. We're catching on a lot of fish. We got a dozen fish, just no size to them. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we may be doubled up here. Probably not. What you got, pal? I'm checking this other rod. We might have got the bait off this one. Yeah, still Grayson, still winching. Get him. Blue cat. Bring him over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We have literally had these baits in the water two minutes and we got two bites. Am I allowed to come here? No, because I don't want to pay the copyright on it. What about on the radio? Kabam. 
All right, guys, I hate to say it, we're hooked up again, and it's another small fish. Grayson's getting a workout, though, but he's a bad, 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 bad gymnast, so he can take it. Swing weighs like three pounds. I know, lift him in here. Does he weigh three? If he's three, he's one of the biggest ones. <laughs> yes, another eater. I mean, these are two-year-old fish. Tons of them, I and mean, there's there's tons of. There's just what well, we're getting the bite. So we're gonna pull these up. We're gonna go try one more spot, I think, before we call it a day. All right, Grayson, how many we got? This many. Boom. There we go. All right, guys, uh, we hitting one of the last holes here. We rode across a deep spot and marked what I said was a good fish. I told Grayson that's a good fish put out a big bait two big baits and some normal size baits and uh i said if those middle rods go over tie a rope around my waist i was too scared to pick up the rods so i made him do it i think it's a good fish i think it'll be one of the better fish we've had Gosh. today i'm gonna go ahead and oh, get another one yeah we'll let him eat we'll see what we got that thing was like really acting like it was tough to get out of the rod holder just keep that rod to, don't let any slag get in he may try coming to the boat and he was really ripping line, it looked like. He wasn't snagged on anything, was he? He may be in that line. Oh my gosh. Thought he might have gotten that other line. Maybe he didn't. Let me ease behind you. Just keep that rod tight. Good job. Good job. Good oh, geez. Geez. Here we go. Make... Oh. Did he break? Did it break? Mmm. Small fish there. Let me see something. Yeah, there's something down there. I it just cut that one too. There's something down there. Dad gummit. I got another rod right here that was around something and I pulled on it and there's something down there. Yeah, it's just they're going to cover. That's what they do. They got around something and cut it, cut two of them. So hate that hate that same thing i could feel it i could I, I i know what it feels like do you you'll feel a resistance besides yeah, just like, the, at the end i was like oh, it's like it's like, dragging around something okay did you feel that yeah that's probably like, what it was it felt like it was weird it was like it's like yeah it's the nature of the beast. The one he had was a big fish. Whatever mine was was not big. Uh, whatever he had. Good thing you lost it. It was a big fish. That's a heartbreaker. That looked like a good fish. How, how, how much do you think it was? That fish is at least 30 pounds. You always say that and it ends up over 30 pounds. Right. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. It's at least 30 pounds. I think it was in reality probably a 40 pound fish. Just the way. I and mean, we got a little bit of current, so that makes a difference, but it was on one of the heavier rods, and when it went over, it was over, and when coming out of the rod holder, it was kind of tough. Like I said, we marked two very large fish in there, and uh, I told Grayson, we put out a big skipjack head. I said, if that rod goes over, I was joking. I said, tie a rope around me. It's a big fish. I didn't really expect for that to happen, but what can you do, man? What can you do? Uh, the cool thing is I've never ever been right here on this lake. Uh, I found a little deep hole in a bunch of shallow stuff and uh, I will be back here. It's kind of cool, kind of different. What's got me worried now is some storm, another cell of storms that's developing behind us. So uh, I'm going to take a look at the radar and we'll probably get out of here. We've had a pretty good day. So uh, half mile to the boat ramp got more exciting than we wanted to have uh, the rain was one thing that was okay we threw on some rain jackets real quick and we're riding back but right after the last shot in that video that you see 
lightning hit close and it hit again two or three times as we got up at the boat ramp so it got kind of scary and kind of kind of dangerous but made it off the water so hope you enjoyed the video thanks for being part of the adventure hit subscribe uh if you like the video down there in the corner and uh, leave any comments or questions below in the comment section and uh, questions about our sanity they're welcome